going to move on to three gentlemen from Fink and Terry Marinette Marine. We have Brandon Haas, the foreman, uh, Kevin, and I have to move my screen over here just a tad, Stumbrus, the general foreman, and Alan Ford, the area, area manager. So they're going to be telling us a little bit about what they do at Fink and Terry Marinette Marine. So gentlemen, whoever would like to start. I'll start. Hi, everyone. My name is Brandon. I'm Brandon Haas. Um, I came here straight out of school, been at Marinette Marine for 18 years. I had no, no education after high school. Um, this job just kind of, kind of fell in my lap. So I ran with it. It paid well. Um, and it, it's been fun for me from the beginning. I started here as a pipe fitter. And I did that for a few years and I took everything I learned and, and turned it into something better in my opinion, which landed me on the waterfront at Marinette Marine on the test and trials crew. So I did a lot of testing of shipboard systems and equipment, including damage control, which would be fire main. And we also use um, AFFF, which is made here locally in, in Marinette also at our neighbor Ansel. And uh, after 10 years or so of being on the test and trials team, I decided to jump over to the management side um, to try and take my skills and apply them or share them with the rest of the team. Um, we, we bring new people in all the time and they remind me of myself. I, I came here, like I said, right out of high school. So I see a lot of new people coming in and, and they're, you know, they're, they're green. Um, not a lot of knowledge, which again was like myself. I, I didn't, I didn't know hardly anything when I came here. Um, and this has been to say the least a blessing. Um, it's close to home. It's, it's allowed me to raise my family um, very comfortably. It's been an excellent place to work. And my, my favorite part is um, dealing with hundreds of people a day. Um, you have so many different personalities. Um, it's, it's, it's very fun. Um, a lot of laughs. It's kind of laid back, but it can be very stressful. Um, we are selling a huge product to our military. Um, currently. And um, so now at, as management, I am a test supervisor. Um, so uh, with that being said that I take test procedures from every trade, um, including electrical, outfitting. Um, we have a machinery department that that handles the big machinery, main engines, um, big equipment and I take all of that, we make sure that we're following the build spec, which is provided by our government and a lot of relationships with government people also. And those, um, those relationships are irreplaceable. Um, so like I said, I, I've had a lot of fun in this job. I, I really appreciate it. And, and it's taught me a lot. I, I consider myself to be very mechanical at this point, and I hope to be an engineer someday. Um, you know, as the previous gentleman was saying, he doesn't believe you need um, post, you know, post post high school education to be an engineer. You need the experience and the ability to troubleshoot, and that's what I've done for a lot of years, and I'm hoping to apply that to an engineering job soon. Awesome. So you did mention, Brandon, that you didn't have any education after high school, but I'm imagining when you went into the management track that you did have some education you had to, had to do. Would that be correct? Uh, no, I, high school wasn't great for me. Um, I, you know, there was classes, there was, there was a few classes I liked, including um, a, a drafting and design class. That was one of my favorites. Um, I, I was very good at math and science. So I mean, I imagine, I, I always wanted to be an engineer. So when I came out of high school and this job kind of hit me in the lap, I thought no better time than now to make some money. And I never pursued after high school education and I'm still here. Awesome. 
All right. Who do we have next? <clears throat> My name's Kevin Stumbrus. I've been here at Marinette Marine now for 13 years. I came out of high school. I worked for a family business in the plumbing industry. And I started an apprenticeship with them. <clears throat> and over the years, I worked on multiple projects, hospitals, jails, schools, stuff like that. And then I just decided that I was traveling around the state. And then I just decided one day to work at, stay home more. So I applied here at Marinette Marine. And I came here, I was a pipe fitter for five years and I took a foreman position. And then I moved up to a general foreman. And I like to work, it's something different every day. Every day you come in here, you're doing something different. Even if you're just a pipe fitter, it's always changing. You're never doing the same stuff. You don't really, you don't get bored or nothing. That's, so know, did that's you have any particular high school class that you thought or classes that you took that um, you thought were really helpful in um, the skills that you needed for what you're doing now? Well, your math class, science classes, stuff like that. You need to know your math for you. You do a lot of math and pipe fitting. You know, it's not hard. It's just formulas. It's you figure it out, and then it's, you just got it. You know what it is. All right, great. Well, I know we have a question, but I think I'm going to wait for that question until we've heard from all three of you. So, next. Yes, I'm Alan Four. I'm the pipe area manager here at Marinette Marine. I've been in the shipbuilding business for about 30 years now. Uh, I've worked at three shipyards. It's a great family business, and I say it's a family business because of the people you meet, the people you work with each day. I've uh, built ships for uh, the Navy. I've built ships for the oil companies. I've built ships for the Coast Guard. Uh, one of the advantages of working in the Navy and for the Navy is you see something come to life. Uh, here at the company, we start with just a sheet of steel and it's awesome to see that sheet of steel turn into a ship and go right out and to the sea to know that it's a home for some of your brothers, some of your sisters, uh, your parents. It's a great feat to know what we're doing and how we're helping. We help the Navy, we help the country with safety we help the country taking care of each one of us daily uh, key courses that i went through in high school drafting was great uh, math is real good science is great much like your meal right uh, when you're in math and you're in your science and you come out here and you apply it to building ship it's a key to problem solving uh, what degree do i need uh, how is this pipe going to go together? What is going through the pipe? Are we going to send water through the pipe for someone to take a shower? Are we going to send cold water through the pipe so you have air condition on the ship? Are we going to send air through the pipe so somebody can fix a flat tire? So it's all great things to know and great things to learn as we progress. So what are some of the things that you do on a daily basis, Alan? I try to reach out and touch each and every foreman that works for me uh, to problem solve for them. Uh, how is your manning today? Did everyone come in? Is there something that you need from our purchasing department that they didn't buy? Is there something you need from our planning department that I need to get out of the warehouse for you? Uh, where do you stand with engineering? Did they give you a good drawing product? Uh, you talk about the Navy and Lockheed Martin. Uh, I look at myself as the cream filling in an Oreo cookie. I'm kind of the middleman, right? Uh, awesome. My guy tells me I need something. I need to go to the Navy and say, hey guys, we need to work together. What do we have to do to resolve this? What needs to happen in order to make it successful for everyone? I love that analogy. And I know we have a question, Allison. <laughs> we do. All right, gentlemen, what are the challenges in working with the government? And does the process to build take longer? The process 
definitely takes longer. Um, we are we are very big on quality at Marinette Marine. Um, there's a lot of proud people that work here. Um, we want to deliver the best product we can. Um, we, I mean, we take it personal. Um, I, I know I, de I definitely do, and I, I see it throughout the yard. Um, I, I love working for the Navy. I, I think them guys are great. Um, like I said, they're, to meet these people, to build friendships and these relationships with, with um, people from all over the country, um, it's, it's, it's just been awesome. Um, the, you know, they will challenge you on a day-to-day -day basis to, to, to make sure um, almost to try to keep you in check, um, you know, and it's kind of, it's, it's kind of fun. It can kind of be a game and you'll see them smile and snicker while they're trying to make your life harder, but you take them challenges and you run with them and you, you make them the best you can.